up guys, welcome back to our channel. Today's a very damn exciting day because we're finally installing our version three Kogeki ductless swiller. The one that everyone's been waiting for. I've been waiting for it. Jared's been waiting for it. The Justin's inside waiting for it. So um, before we install it on Justin's car, we're gonna put it on our car first. Take some pictures to show you guys what it will look like. You know, if you have the color match option or not. So um, before we do that, I gotta take the trunk off because you know, this is our wing trunk. And then, uh, by the way, I'm gonna take off my uh, swan neck spoiler. So if you want a swan, this exact swan neck wing spoiler for your car, WX, let me know, hit me up on my Instagram. Uh, I'll hook you guys up for a good price. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, actually, no, before I take this off, come here guys, let me show you guys. Let me get something really, really cool. I got a lot of new parts in, and uh, they're not released yet. They're coming for this spring. I'm gonna go straight into it. Check it out, our carbon fiber steering wheel. Oh my God, I can't put this on. I don't know how to put this on. I'm gonna have Kevin do this, okay? Cause I don't want the airbag blow my face, you know, when I'm driving. I don't want that. I wanna look beautiful for you guys, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, check this full carbon fiber, two by two weave with the uh, rest stitching and a um, cut over here, you know, very sport-like. It's gonna be using all your OEM parts on your steering wheel, so you can swap everything over and it should be good to go. We'll do this video another time. And then I have finally, oh my goodness, sorry. Finally, our sport grill. This is our very own sp sport grill. It's different than Subaru's. Because one, we delete the emblem. Because I think, here, let me show you guys, for example, okay? Just a reference. We have our gloss black grill already, which you offer this if you're interested. But look at that sport grill. Oh my God, it looks sick. Why? I'll tell you two things. Like I said, the emblem delete is one, but also our holes is all cut out. The OEM Subaru, they don't, some of these are kind of filled, so you can't really see all of the holes being opened up. But this is fully functional. You know, super good, especially, I'm gonna run a front mount, it's gonna look really nice with this. And also, if you want the emblem, we have the option for you too. So you can go ahead and put this cover right here. Look at this, it's so crazy, look at this. Hold on, let me show you guys. Boom, just like that. Slap it on, put a Aeroflow overlay, you know, on it and you're good to go. So that's one, and then we have the carbon fiber hood scoop. Obviously, we have a hood already, we're not gonna use this. But uh, we'll probably put it on one of the homies' cars. It's a direct replacement, a lot higher than the stock, full carbon fiber. We'll get into more details later. But today, we are installing, like I said, our goddamn duck bill. Oh my god, this is so sexy. Look at this, guys. Look at this. OEM hole spot, right? You know, everyone's talking about, I wanna make it fit with the OEM holes on my trunk for the limited, you know, non-base model gang guys, you know? For, for the base model guys, all we gotta do is put the tape. For those that have, you know, the limited or premium or the GT, you want to use OEM holes, we have screws for you, just take it off and we'll show you guys how to do it in a bit, but check out the design, like original design by us, so sexy. I can't wait to see how this looks on our car and on Justin's car. We'll see Justin in a bit, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and take off my trunk right now. So you guys see me done this so many times already, but you know, four bolts, all the clips come off. I might need uh, Jared to help me out on this one, Jared, so uh, you might when you hold my, hold my trunk for me. Okay. All right, Jared, hurry up, man. My arm's about to fall apart. So here we are, have our... So oh, we got those trunks walk back on and uh, to your left is Justin. If you don't know Justin, Justin's uh, the white WRX, the one that everyone's asking for his wheel setup, which we're gonna tell you in a bit. So here it is, our V3 duck bill. Yo, how's it look? I think it'll look good, it'll look even better without this piece. I feel like this is kind of throwing off for me. Damn. So we're not we're not gonna install it on my car. We're gonna put it on Justin's car, but just for reference, as you can see, it looks pretty freaking sick. All the holes are covered. So if you have a limited model plus, for example, all those holes are covered and you'll be using the OEM um, screws. I don't know if you guys remember this car, but we'll go over this car one more time because his car has been MIA in action, so. Hi right, guys, to your right, to my left, to my right, is our Aeroflow V1 duck bill. For comparison, this is our V3. So, you know, this one is obviously OEM style. This one's obviously ours. So you can see a little bit difference, you know. 
for those that don't want the V3, you can always go to the V1. But in my opinion, the V3 looks sexy. But before I talk more uh, and work on the car, I'm gonna have Justin hey. talk about his build today and uh, you know, tell him about what happened to your car, you know? Uh, yeah. yeah. So yeah, for the last, I think, month and a half, I think it was like December 23rd, uh, I went to install my access port and my battery died while flashing. So what that did was it fried my ECU and then my car was not operable. So uh, I haven't had my car since then. Um, so I called Cobb and they told me to overnight the, uh, the ECU to them. And when they got it, they were like, yeah, it's just dead on arrival. So, uh, so they couldn't do anything with it. So I had to call Subaru and have them order me a new ECU. Um, but unfortunately that was on back order for a month and a half. So I literally couldn't do anything. So I, I actually just got it back like two days ago. And the first thing I did was install the access port. So luckily it didn't uh, fry my ECU again. We actually got that installed. It's still on stage zero though, just because I have an intake and a blow off valve. So the, the over the or off the shelf map isn't really made for, for those parts. So I'm just gonna leave it at stage zero till I get a, a tune. So uh, I'm getting a tune from STI Mikey. I'm getting the E50 map. And hopefully we have that by the end of the week and we'll see uh, what this car could do with that. But yeah, I'm really excited. So, and I'm really excited to get the wing, man. The wing looks so good. So I, I was the one to test fit the, this wing here and I get to, to run this wing too. So I've been waiting for this a long time. All right guys, so to install your V3 duck belt, which is different than, actually it will, it will be the same from now on. All the V1 and V2 duck bills will have all the whole placements now, just like the V3. So we we'll should be gone that. So to install your V3 duck bill, simply, pop off your trunk cover. So there's a couple clips here. On ours, uh, we take a trunk off so many times, we don't even bother putting this back, but you know, for your cars, I'd recommend putting this back on just to make it look cleaner. All right guys, so once this piece comes off, you just set that aside from your trunk. Since Justin, this is, a, he's a, this is the very first duck though, by the way. Then you have the first V1 and the first V3. All right, so I'm gonna, Take this off, man. This is on there. That's my fault for putting, doing such a damn good ass job. <laughs> Look at that. For those that say uh, 3M tape don't work, <laughs> ain't going nowhere. I almost ripped the whole trunk off. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this 3M tape off. Oh, by the way, for those asking about Justin's wheel fitment, we're running the exact same size. 18 and a half, 22 offset, both with the 245-40 Falcon tires. Uh, Justin did raise up his car a little bit more than ours, as you can see. But if you run it like this, you don't have to trim, trim too much of the fenders. Like ours, we're still rubbing like crazy, so. Honestly, if you run it this high, you probably don't have to trim it. Yeah, you mean you trim it, yeah. So for those who want it, you know, the same setup, here's the setup again. 18 and a half plus 22 offset, you're welcome. All right, guys, do a quick test fit on Trust's WS. You can see it looks pretty sick. Not gonna lie. It looks really good with the cladding, too. So, for those that don't have the, you know, flares like ours, it's pretty sick. Is my mic even on? Hello? Is it on? Okay, sorry. So, we're gonna show you guys how, how to install this. So, Jerry, oh, wow, you have the button? Damn, I'm jealous. Damn, we don't got, we don't got that. So I took off the, so if you have the OEM trim, there's two bolts here that connects it. So you're gonna, you're gonna remove that. And then uh, Jerry already helped us line up all the 3M tape already. So we're gonna go and let me show you our screws that come with it. So you're gonna get two Phillips head, stainless steel, bolt and a washer, okay? All right, so what we did is we put the bolts in first. Make sure you don't tie it all the way. Get the bolts locked into the spoiler. Apply, uh, peel back the 3M tape and now we're gonna line everything up and start peeling the tape. All right guys, so once the 3M tape's on, before we push all the way down, we're gonna go back with our screwdriver and tie everything up on the inside. Again, don't do it too tight, tight enough guys, okay? I see a lot of people over tying everything, breaking stuff. As you can see, using all OEM spots, just like that. And you can see the 3M tape already does its job amazingly. And then, once we close this, push a little bit down, let's hold the 3M tape side down. And uh, I gotta put back the clips in, but obviously it looks 
perfect. Look at this. No gaps, flawless. You know, this deserves an award to our engineering team because this we'll have this in color match options. This is a black, gloss black D4S. So to match this, obviously. Um, carbon fiber will be available, not now, but a lot later. So in the meantime, this will be available. Pre-order starts today after we drop this video. All right, so actually let me pop my hood because I got some new parts on the inside. Nothing crazy, but you know, just a little engine dress up. So got the parent tow hook. It is functional, just not a recovery hook. So, I mean, it could tell you in a straight line, but not if you go off the track or anything. Uh, got the oil filter cover from Perrin. Got the oil cap also and the battery tie down. Um, I want to get, my next thing I'm going to get is probably a intercooler. I haven't decided from who yet though. Um, got the ETS intake. Um, the person I ordered from didn't ship me the box yet, so it's just kind of exposed. Verdovin wheels. Uh, I actually got those from Jeff when the car first came out. He actually told me that they were too aggressive to run, so he sold them, <laughs> but then he ended up running the same fitment as me, so that's pretty funny. Um, I do want the Aeroflow wheels when they come out, though, so hopefully those come out soon, too. And then one of my favorite mods I have on is the, the Turbo Smart Dual Port Blow-Off Valve sounds sick i will say though you definitely need a tune for that though because on the high end i feel like i lose boost if i let go of the pedal because obviously it's going to blow out some of that air to the atmosphere so um so yeah just make sure if you are going to run that you get a tune for that and then should be running perfectly aeroflow uh covers fit super nice for the window um i like them way better than the oem just because the oem kind of comes out a little bit too much these are really flush so super nice um, Aeroflow Dynamics hoodies for the company. They are screen printed, so really good quality. The hoodie feels really nice, super soft. Um, and then we got the logo on the back. You know, something, something simple, but look really good. And then um, we got some t-shirts. These are actually supposed to be for the clothes I was dropping, but my friend printed it on the cream hoodie for them. So I actually drew Jeff's car in Photoshop and then um, we heat pressed it on. And then also we just got the, uh, the Aeroflow logo on the front. So hopefully they like these. I love these hoodies, super heavy, super soft. And um, then we have black t-shirts with that same, uh, that same image right here. And then obviously the Aeroflow on the front as well. So um, they'll let you know when they're gonna drop those, but yeah. Got some nice merch for the company and hopefully you guys like them. All right guys, we're gonna put everything back, get some B-rolls for you guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, I'm not gonna sign out, Justin can sign out for us today. So, uh, yeah, you can sign out. Uh, signing out. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram at uh, WRX underscore VB. Uh, make sure you like the video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe for uh, more content. And uh, yeah, let's watch these B-rolls.